The role of the brain on body inflammation can be profound. If you suffer from an inflammatory condition, digestive upset, high blood pressure, or depression, a closer look at vagal tone is highly recommended. The vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in the body which originates in the brain as cranial nerve 10, travels down the from go the neck and then passes around the digestive system, liver, spleen, pancreas, heart, and lungs. Its role is the most important one in the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest part, opposite to the sympathetic nervous system which is fight or flight. Vagal Tone The key to activating the parasympathetic nervous system is the tone of the vagus nerve. It is measured by tracking your heart rate alongside your breathing rate. Your heart rate accelerates a little when you breathe in, and slows down a little when you breathe out. A higher vagal tone means that your body can relax faster after stress. The bigger the difference between your inhalation heart rate and your exhalation heart rate, the higher your vagal tone will be. Low vagal tone Depression, diabetes, chronic fatigue syndrome, cognitive impairment, much higher rates of inflammatory conditions such as all autoimmune diseases, inflammatory bowel disease, endometriosis, autoimmune thyroid conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and others, and cardiovascular conditions and strokes are all associated with low vagal tone. High vagal tone. On the other hand, improved mood, less anxiety, and more stress resilience are associated with high vagal tone. It improves the function of many body systems, reduces migraines, causes reduced risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease and better blood sugar regulation, lowers blood pressure, and improved digestion via better production of stomach basic and digestive enzymes. Another interesting property of the high vagal tone is that it essentially reads the gut microbiome and initiates a response to modulate inflammation based on whether or not it detects pathogenic versus non-pathogenic organisms. It is in this way that the gut microbiome can affect your mood, stress levels, and overall inflammation. How to Increase Vagal Tone We already mentioned that the vagal tone can be increased through a device that stimulated the vagus nerve. To some degree, you are genetically predisposed to varying levels of vagal tone, but this still doesn't mean that you can do anything about it. On the contrary, by regular practice, you too can succeed to regulate and increase your vagal tone, the implications of such simple and basic practices on your overall health, and in particular, on inflammation issues are far-reaching. Some ways to tone the vagus nerve are the following. Washing your face with cold water. Cold water on your face stimulates the vagus nerve, although the mechanism of this practice is still unknown. Meditation, loving-kindness meditation, promotes positive feelings towards yourself and others. A 2010 study by Barbara Fredrickson and Bethany Kick found that increasing emotions of goodwill led to increased social closeness and an improvement in vagal tone. Slow, rhythmic, diaphragmatic breathing. Breathing from your diaphragm stimulates and tones the vagus nerve. Speaking. Speaking is also helpful for vagal tone, due to the connection to the vocal cords. Balancing the gut microbiome. Humming. Humming also stimulates the vagus nerve, due to its connection to the vocal cords. You can repeat the sound OM or hum a song. For those who suffer from high blood pressure, digestive complaints, inflammatory condition, or depression, this video can serve as an inspiration to begin a meditation practice. Since we have read that breathing exercises and meditation are helpful for our health, or to discover new possibilities and mechanisms to manage the body's inflammatory response.